All right, what's up, what's up? This video is gonna be an introduction to the Parkland formula. Uh, it's kind of a subsequent video in the series about the rule of nines and the management of burn patients here on Medical School Made Easy. Now the Parkland formula, what it's used is it's used to quickly calculate the amount of fluid resuscitation or like IV fluids we need to put into a burn patient. And when I'm talking about burn patients, I'm not talking about like first degree burn, like sunburn type patients. I'm talking like second or third degree burns. Now these are the kind of burns that really affect the physical barrier that is your skin, and so you lose tons of fluid, right? It's a, a, it leads to hemodynamic instability if you have large amounts of these second or third degree, these full thickness burns, as they're called, um, because you, you lose so much fluid through that loss of physical barrier that is your skin. So we use this Parkland formula, and uh, one key part of this formula is the rule of nines. Now, if you're unsure how to calculate that for an adult, and or a child, make sure you check out our videos on that because that's a key part, as you'll see, of this formula. So the formula goes as such, and that is volume in milliliters of uh, fluids needed equals four times the mass of the patient in kilograms times the percentage from the rule of nines. And it's just like that, four kilogram percentage. Um, you know, like. There's an easy, you know, mnemonic like 4% kilo, that sort of thing. Um, people have different, like first responders have different ways to remember this, or ER physicians, ICU physicians have different ways to remember this. But the gist of it is four times the mass of the patient in kilograms, which usually you can just, you know, spit out, or you can even round sometimes or guesstimate, and uh, times percentage of total body surface area burned by second or third degree burns. That gives you a volume in milliliters that needs to be replaced. Um, so let's say, you know, we had a 70 kilo patient, which used to be the normal in America, and they have 18% burns because um, they stuck both of their arms into a, whatever, molten pot of molten steel or something. And so they burn both their arms. You can, uh, you know, multiply this out and get the volume in milliliters um, that needs to be replaced. And that equals 5,040 milliliters. So now you're like, all right, fancy man, you have your milliliters. What do you do with that? You just, what, give that to them bolus? Like you just pump them full of five liters? Let's just round that to five liters so I can talk about it a little faster. You just give them five liters bolus? No, 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 no. So what that means is you have your amount, your volume, and that's going to be given over the next 24 hours. Okay, so that's, that's pretty simple, right? So one day, Parkland formula tells you how much fluid you need to pump into that person over the next day or the next 24 hours following their injury, right? Is that it? No, that's not it. Actually, there's one more little trick here, and that is that half this amount has to be given in the first eight hours, and the second half of the amount is given in the last 16 hours. Okay, so you can see we're going to change our IV rates after a third of a day after the injury. Um, you know, you don't need to be a uh, theoretical mathematician to calculate out what the rate would be here. You can just, you know, 2,500 milliliters divided by eight hours is going to be the rate on your IV pump. And then after eight hours, you're going to switch it over to a slower rate to pump in the rest of that fluid. Um, that's kind of That's kind of the gist of it. And if you keep, you know, if you keep this up, you manage the patient correctly, that'll then, uh, you know, hopefully avoid hemodynamic instability and pump that patient full of the appropriate amount of fluids. So you don't, uh, you know, dilute them, but you don't um, cause instability. So that's an instruction and an example of the Parkland formula. If you have any questions, please let us at Med School Made Easy know. Make sure you learn how to do the, the rule of nines. Thank you.